In this video, I'm going to show you how to auto-complete surveys and forms so that when your clients, your existing leads, your prospects, your customers come through, one, we can map it to the correct person, but then secondly, they don't have to keep typing in their info again and again and again and again. So here's how we do it. And the secret is to use a trigger link. Um, now, trigger links are in high level. You come to marketing and then trigger links. And I've got two trigger links here. And what we do is we've got this special code that we're going to stick at the end of the trigger link. So whatever, uh, and let me just copy this and I'll show you how to make a brand new one. So we're going to add a link. So brand new trigger link. We'll just give it a name. And then look, we're going to send it to um, Google or let's say it's Google slash... Uh, testing slash one two three whatever the link is whatever your link is obviously it doesn't have to be Google it can be your website where you've got your form that sort of thing and then I'm just going to paste this code on the end and now let me take you through it so after whatever the very 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 uh, last part is put a question mark now if you have a URL for some reason that already has a question mark so the very first time I put a question mark after that Anything else we're adding, we're going to put this uh, ampersand, this, this and sign on. So if you have a URL that already for some reason has a question mark, then you're going to replace this question mark with this um, ampersand, this and sign, and then in between each thing you'll do that. So if you want to add more onto the end of this, you're going to put this and sign in between each thing that you want to add on. So only ever one question mark, um, and then after that we're going to do the, the and sign. So we're doing question mark first underscore name equals and then we're doing the standard high level curly bracket curly bracket contact dot first underscore name curly bracket curly bracket so that will pass the first name then we've got email and the same thing contact email then we have uh, and phone equals contact phone and then we've got uh, last name equals contact last name I hit save and give it a second here we go there's our brand new uh, trigger link that we've got there and that will pass all of that information then across in the URL. Now, I'm gonna show you one other added bonus. And if you want to add on and contact underscore ID equals contact dot ID, this will also add this onto. Now, what does this do? What is the contact ID? Well, the way high level works is it maps the contacts either by email or by phone number. But uh, what if you send this out to somebody um, and they come in and they go, oh, do you know what, uh, when I, you know, the information you've got is some old info, um, let, or maybe you're only connecting email, or maybe you're only collecting phone number, and they go, uh, and it starts to populate the form with that information, um, well, um, what, what happens then is, is they go, actually, I want to change my email, I want a different one. Well, it can create a new contact, and it won't map it across. If you use contact ID, it tells the system, hey, this is the same person. This is, and each person has like a contact ID number. This is person number 54AF27B. Uh, and it says, hey, look, they just changed the email. So it will just update the email. It will still put it according to that person. Um, so make sure uh, if you want to, uh, if there's a risk that they're going to change their, their email and or their phone number, um, then, um, then put the contact ID across. But please don't pass on the trigger link so each when high level when you send out an email or an SMS with a trigger link it doesn't actually always send out the exact same link it's got you know the, the uh, link.com slash 5427B89 uh, and each individual person actually gets an individual link and each individual SMS or email is individual as well so high level can track it exactly so um, don't then go and find one that you sent out in your conversations and forward it to somebody because then you will have their contact details mapped to somebody else, particularly if you use contact ID. So just be careful with that. Now, you want to make sure that it all fires correctly. So I'm just going to come um, over. Let me move my head to sites. And um, if where you want stuff pre-populated, you should you should always. So I'm here in um, survey surveys. And that is not a uh, survey. Here we go. Um, so I'm here in surveys and we should always, uh, if we come to options and, um, uh, oh, sorry, not, uh, option styles. Uh, no, we should be on, 
options. Here we go, here we go. Sticky contact. Always turn your sticky contacts on. If you want something to be pre-filled, turn your sticky contacts on. Now, um, what sticky contacts does is it puts a cookie on their computer. And now, with this cookie on their computer, um, so let's say they've already opted into your form and you've got their info. And then you send them an email saying, hey, you need to get a bit more information. Can you do this? And you send the trigger link um, just like we've done. Now, you don't necessarily need to pass the information then because you then click it, it opens up on their computer and the cookie already has the info. So it will already pre-fill their name, email, phone number, whatever those things might be. But the way it works is by putting a cookie on the computer. Let's say you send them an email or a text and texts convert really, really well. Um, so texts are always great. Um, you put that in, you send that out. Now they open it on a different device. So let's say they are then um, on their phone. They open it on their phone. Boom. The cookie is not on their phone, it's on their computer. Um, so uh, um, it doesn't pass the information. So you should have the sticky contacts on anyway so that that passes across. Um, but by using these trigger links, if they open it on a different device, maybe they've got their iPad or their, their, their tablet. Maybe they're now on a work computer um, in their office, whatever, whatever it might be, but they were at home previously. So sticky contacts can only work so well because it puts a cookie on the device that they were, they were on at that time. So by passing it through the trigger link, we've got that. But you should have this on as well. It's always a fail safe, stuff goes wrong. But that is how you pass that information. So again, it's marketing. Uh, let's get, get it out of that marketing and then trigger links and that's there and I'm going to grab this code here and I'm going to paste it uh, under the YouTube video that this is on so you can just grab this code uh, and then you can copy and paste it and uh, and just stick this at the end of your URL so you don't have to come here and remember it all now if this was useful uh, I'd love it if you liked subscribed comment as well um, that would be great share, share it with anybody um, you know we're just starting to get this YouTube channel going so that would be helpful for me hopefully we've added value to you and that is how you can pass this information for your um, forms and for your surveys um, to pre-fill um, forms and you don't have to stick to just first name email phone number you can you can stick other stuff in uh, as well and pass that that in information too um, although you know how much you really really need to pass is up to you because you know you shouldn't be asking you know a, a thousand questions again if you already have those answers too uh, and if you are asking them again maybe you don't want them pre-filled because you're asking it again because you need to confirm it uh, and so you perhaps want them to um, to put that information in um, but hope that is useful have an awesome day